lots of energy. We're going to be talking about a very dynamic process called mitosis. The student will be able to describe the processes of mitosis. First of all, mitosis. Mitosis is a process of nuclear division in a living cell in which the carriers of hereditary information or the chromosomes are exactly replicated and the two copies distributed to identical daughter nuclei. Now, this is what I'm talking about and I'm going to be using these rings and these dumbbells to, to get my message across in, ter in terms of how these chromosomes are working within each individual cell. Some people in some biology books, this is called the resting stage, okay? And what happens is during the interphase, the chromosomes uh, are dispersed in the nucleus and appear as a network of long, thin threads of filaments, and these are called chromatin. And you can see some of those filaments right in there in the nucleus, right, uh, as that is undergoing interphase. In early, late prophase, in animal cells, the centrioles separate and move apart, and radiating bundles of fibers called esters ap appear around them. And you can see the esters right in here in early and late prophase, right here. All these little bundles that appear around the uh, radiating bundles, uh, the centriole, which is right here in the center. Okay, that's very important for you to understand. So, of the spindle are the poles to which the chromatids will migrate, okay? And I kind of started drawing that here, where they're going to migrate here towards this pole. And of course, over here on this end, the same thing is going to happen. And I'm going to try not to spend too much time drawing my lines here because the clock is ticking. Tick tock goes the clock. Okay, and then right here the nuclear material of this cell is going to be replicated in the chromosomes and then going to pass on down the line to make two cells. Okay, and then as this multiplies then it becomes four cells and then 16 cells and then down the line.